getting them up top, uh, trying not to give them just a steady bat of the same look over and over again because Boston is too good defensively. Uh, they are. They can just keep you in a box. Uh, they see the same thing, and they probably adjust on the fly better than any team in the league. Uh, with their veteran players, their communication on the court, they see something once, get beat on it twice, maybe third time they have a chance. Um, so uh, that's been one of the uh, adjustments that the series has gone on. Um, so I always try to stay at the step ahead as much as we said down there. Very good. Uh, you're six losses uh, this year. You just have to two men in every year. I think you've led the fourth quarter every game. Yeah, yeah. Six of the seven games we've had fourth quarter leads. Yeah, how much confidence does that give you and your team going in? Is that a point you can have a Well, that's the point I made at the beginning. Uh, but that's where we uh, can draw our confidence from. And, uh, it, it could be a lot different right now. Uh, and, you know, it could be 2-2, two -two, it could be 3-1 with different bounces of the ball. Uh, but uh, that's not the point. Uh, we're not living in the past. Our, our, uh, our objective right now is to find a breakthrough in Boston. We need a breakthrough there. We had our first hurdle last night. It's to somehow find a way uh, out of seven games is to find a way with a fourth quarter lead uh, to be mentally strong enough uh, to close out the game and, and get a win. Uh, now we have to do that in Boston right in front of their fans uh, where we haven't had success. Uh, and that's the ultimate challenge uh, for this team and, and as professionals. And, uh, to a man, I think everybody's looking forward to that challenge.